हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ ओके इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रुप सेवनटीन एलिमेंट्स ठीक है नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ग्रुप एटीन एलिमेंट्स ठीक है अवर लास्ट ग्रुप दैट इज ग्रुप एटीन और वी कैन से नोबल गैस एलिमेंट्स जीरो ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स इनर्ड गैस एलिमेंट्स like that uh, we can what call these groups element so as you know beta which uh, elements are there uh, in this okay so see as like this you know hena nena aur karina jeke rani okay like that uh, we are considering understood mnemonic for this group 18 element helium neon argon krypton xenon and what beta radon theek okay. hai so see here what will happen due to these all are what inert nature due to inert nature of these elements it uh, what they always occur in free state they always occur in free state because it's inert nature theek okay. hai now ex except radon All these gases are present in what? Present in atmosphere in their atomic state, except radon because radon is what your yes radon is your radioactive element. Okay. Now see, uh, up, suppose if we are considering about uh, occurrence of these elements, so helium, helium is present in the natural gas up to the extent of. Two to seven percent. Okay. Helium, how much, beta? Two to seven percent present in natural. What present in natural gases? Okay. Now, whatever your neon, argon, krypton, xenon are obtained as a byproduct of whatever these your other elements, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. as a by product of what as a by product of liquefaction of air liquefaction of air okay and uh, separation of its constituents by fractional distillation we can separate this constituent by fractional distillation okay so like that uh, whatever our about your occurrence of this uh, zero group elements or what inert gas element okay now uh, this thing you must know here uh, what it is beta c except radon sorry except helium so here except helium other members other members of this family having having say other members of family having their general outermost electronic configuration their g is a general outermost electronic configuration how much beta yes ns2 np6 suppose if you are considering of helium so helium what ns2 only because uh, one only shell okay atomic number 2 only okay so like that these are about uh, occurrence and everything about your जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वॉट अवर जीरो ग्रुप एलिमेंट और इनर्ड गैस ठीक है हेलियम नियॉन आर्गॉन क्रिप्टॉन सेनॉन एंड रेडॉन ठीक है नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट देयर वट एवर एलिमेंट देयर सिंबॉल एटॉमिक नंबर एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ठीक है सो पे टेंशन ऑन दिस पॉइंट सी यार हेलियम हेना नैना और करेना ओके से के रानी सो एज नो वॉट बेटा एटॉमिक नंबर्स देज आर वॉट एलिमेंट्स देन ही आर वॉट बेटा एटॉमिक नंबर टू टेन एटीन थर्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी फोर एंड हाउ मच बेटा एटी सिक्स डीज आर वॉट 
yes these are our atomic number of these elements now see here what will be their electronic configuration so as like this we can mention okay so see here 1s2 okay now here what be the for neon as like this we are writing easily we can write with the help of inert gas so this helium we can consider okay helium 2 2s2 2p6 2 to 4 and 6 10 okay understood as you know what will be the outermost general outermost electronic configuration ns2 and phase 6 take it now see about argon 18 as like this so for that we need to take a help of our neon take it so neon 10 yes 3s2 take it 3s2 3p6 understood so now what yes very good uh, yes beta argon okay argon 18 what will come yes 3d 10 4s2 4p6 you can count this you can count total also 20s plus 2 30 36 as like this now see your beta krypton 36 so what will come obviously 4d 10 5s2 5p6 just the guy tension guys in a yes because one one shell will increase automatically whenever uh, you are dealing with outermost electronic configuration and beta i already discussed whenever we are dealing this okay Whenever we are dealing this our uh, this outermost electronic configuration, at that time you must know this one one cell will increase here. Okay. So for what beta? Uh, radon 86. So what will come? Yes, xenon 54. Yes, after that what? 4 a 14. Is beta very good? 5d10, 5s2, sorry, not a 5s2. What will come? Yes, very good. 6s2 and what? 6p6. So you can cross check beta. 60s plus this 10, 78 plus this 280 and 86. Understood? I hope you understood this outermost electronic configuration. Ticket of this hour whatever noble gas elements inert gas elements take it now you concentrate on uh, next part that is atomic radia okay so see here what will happen about atomic radia atomic radia now as usual or as expected as expected what beta as we go down to the group as we go down to the group atomic size increases because in this gaseous element what will happen van der Waal radius increases so automatically one one shell uh, there is an increase okay so therefore what atomic size down to the group increases understood so these are what our regular trend okay now next see ionization what be the ionization enthalpy now what will happen about ionization enthalpy see here as you know ionization of noble gases are very high Okay, so the ionization enthalpy decreases. What beta ionization enthalpy decreases with increase in atomic number, and as uh, increasing atomic number from what helium to radon. What beta helium to radon. I hope you understood uh, this thing. So obviously ionization enthalpy what will happen decreases down to the group. Why it is like this? Because you know. 
from nucleus to outermost shell distance increases so whatever that last electron we can remove easily understood so beta next we will discuss electron gain enthalpies okay third so pay attention on this third also electron gain enthalpies or as you know what be the electron affinity or what electron affinity okay now due to the stable electron configuration noble gases whatever noble gas it does not tendency to accept uh, additional electron therefore electron gain enthalpy is are zero whatever values of electron gain enthalpy is are zero or we can say positive values of this electron gain enthalpy is for this you are in a gas element so you have to write you have to mention in your notes okay positive having large positive values of our electron gain enthalpy now see here suppose fourth we will discuss regarding what be the melting and boiling point so as you know beta about melting and boiling point what will like happen it is because of weak van der waal forces noble gases have very low melting and boiling point because of weak van der waal forces noble gases have very what low melting and boiling point in that uh, we will mention what beta helium has the lowest boiling point helium has lowest boiling point how much we are say 4.2 kelvin 4.2 kelvin okay so these are what about atomic radii ionization enthalpy okay now see here uh, we will discuss fifth ease of liquefaction what beta see here is of liquefaction why we are discussing this here is of liquefaction in other group we not uh, we know uh, we don't uh, discuss this trend uh, regarding your uh, group 15 16 17 we not discuss ease of liquefaction or we can say liquefaction why we are discussing in this group only because as you know these all are what gases okay so because of these gases which gas we can easily liquefy okay and uh, no doubt it is depend on uh, all about that whatever critical temperature okay uh, so uh, are you remembering one liquefaction we studied in class 11 in the topic states of matter or we can say gaseous state we saw liquefaction of carbon dioxide gas okay understood means gas is converted into your liquid okay at its critical temperature understood so we will see regarding these all are gases so we will discuss here ease of liquefaction for this our zero group elements or we can say what beta inert gas element so concentrate on this so here basically what will happen whatever these noble gases are not easily liquefied why it is not easily liquefied due to increase in atomic size why it is not easily liquefied we can mention due to increase in orbita atomic size and and what increase in van der waal forces increase in what beta yes van der waal forces ठीक है the ease of liquefaction increases down to the group the ease of liquefaction 
increases increases what down to the group theek hai from helium to radon from beta helium to radon now question will arise why whatever ease of liquefaction increases down to the group okay because see here why ease of liquefaction increases down to the group because yes because as we discussed down to the group atomic size increases one one shell will increase okay so for that reason ease of liquefaction increases down to the group understood and as you know ionization enthalpy what yes ionization enthalpy decreases okay now we will discuss uh, next point these are what we can say atomic uh, or uh, periodic properties regarding your group 18 elements zero group elements noble gas elements okay now we will discuss properties of noble gases so concentrate on this properties of what noble gases let's check properties of noble gases so see here in the properties of noble gases we will discuss first physical properties what beta physical properties see here in this physical property uh, what will happen we will discuss that all the nobis all the noble gases as you know first if you are considering all the noble gases all the noble gases are colorless orderless tasteless okay these are few uh, general properties and tasteless also and all these are noble gases are what monoatomic second what noble gases are what beta monoatomic now suppose you are considering third okay for third these are sparingly soluble in water these are sparingly soluble in water or we can say what beta easily soluble in sorry not sorry slightly soluble in water sparingly soluble in water means what sparingly soluble in water means what slightly soluble in water now see here we will discuss here one of the important property okay or we can uh, mention in this uh, what chemical properties okay so concentrate on this what will happen uh, see here in march 1962 one scientist having name neil bartlett what beta neil bartlett okay notice that platinum hexa fluoride notice that what platinum hexa fluoride is a powerful oxidizing agent is what beta powerful oxidizing agent okay and when it will combines with molecular oxygen to form what a red ionic compound to form of what red ionic compound having name so we can mention here name dioxygenyl dioxygenyl hexafluoroplatinate fifth okay so can we do the reaction see here ptf6 okay when it will react with o2 gaseous that gives what yes you will get o2 plus ptf6 minus 
okay now this indicates that what is the uh, here indicates whatever your ptfc is a power flow oxidizing agent so, okay so it has oxidizing agent means what oxidizing agent itself what beta yes itself reduce understood and this is the guy kind of oxidation so here what o2 say the guy gale o2 is converted into o2 plus as like this means your this ptf6 has oxidized o2 to o2 plus okay so why it is like this because uh, suppose if you are considering whatever now we will discuss about what will be the similarities between oxygen and xenon okay this is what we discuss about platinum hexa fluoride suppose if you are thinking about uh, oxygen and xenon so uh, what having uh, some uh, similarities uh, that we will discuss beta okay so about uh, what beta oxygen and xenon okay you can mention this in this reaction in what beta chemical properties ठीक है सी एम इन वॉट बेटा केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज सी आर इन केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज वॉट विल हैपन सपोज इफ यू आर कंसिडरिंग अबाउट झेनॉन एंड ऑक्सीजन सिमिलैरिटीज how and on the basis of what they are forming a compounds that we will discuss so beta first ionization enthalpy of xenon gas the first ionization enthalpy of xenon gas is about 1170 kilo joule per mole theek hai and is fairly and it is fairly close to the yes fairly close to the oxygen having first their ionization enthalpy of oxygen how much 1175 kilo joule per mole okay and second also we will here mention the molecular diameter here the molecular diameter of xenon and oxygen of what beta xenon and xenon and oxygen how much it is similar and having difference what difference or we can say near about atomic radius in angstrom unit 4 angstrom unit how much beta yes 4 angstrom unit theek okay. hai now on the basis of this assumption bitlet reacted xenon and platinum hexa fluoride in a gas phase in a gas phase and an orange yellow solid of the composition xe ptf6 was obtained from abu this assumption bitlet reacted xenon what xenon and platinum hexa fluoride okay and what you will get you will get orange yellow solid having composition what x c p t f 6 so we will see that reaction also beta see here when your x e xenon gaseous plus p t f 6 that gives what beta yes x e plus and p t f 6 minus having what beta color is what yellow orange colored solid yellow orange colored solid was obtained 
So, Vida, you have to write this uh, reaction clearly. Okay? If any doubt will come, you can immediately, you have to share. Now, see here. Suppose if you are thinking about Krypton, okay, Krypton, uh, compounds of Krypton. Compounds of Krypton are few, few are there. In that, uh, we can mention compounds of Krypton, okay, see here, Vida. KRF2, compound of Krypton, okay. Whereas, compounds of radon have not isolated but only identify, for example, compounds of radon, we can write what, RNF2, and is used by what, radio tracer technique, it is used in radio tracer technique, okay, okay, now, whether uh, we are considering compounds of helium, neon, or argon, yet, uh, what beta? There is a no compounds of these all. Okay. Understood? Helium, neon, organ. We are not known that much. Okay. So, see here. Uh, we will discuss now few compounds of with respect to fluorine also. In this our xenon part. See. Means suppose if you are considering among these all helium, neon, organ, krypton, radon, xenon, they are showing some stable compounds. Okay? Some stable compound they are forming. Okay, so that we will discuss. Say having uh, with oxidation number plus two. So what beta XCF2 it is. We call it as a what? Xenon difluoride. Okay. There are further X4 plus 4. Having what? XCF4. We call it as a xenon tetrafluoride. Okay. XCOF2 also. Xenon oxy. Xenon oxy difluoride, okay, plus 6 oxidation value, XCF6, Xenon what hexa fluoride, here what XCOF4, Xenon oxy, Xenon oxy what beta, yes, tetra. Fluoride. So, like these few compounds with their oxidation number, you can mention here. Okay. Now we will discuss next point that is compounds of xenon. Okay. Because among these all, these only reactive. Instead of having uh, eight valence electrons, then and then also. For achieving high stability, they will react with some other compounds like oxygen and chlorine and forming what? Xenon compounds. So, see here compounds of xenon. Okay. Now, concentrate on compounds of xenon. Okay. Compounds of xenon so see here in the compounds of xenon uh, what will happen xenon fluorides okay generally which compounds they are for see here uh, small a suppose we will discuss capital a so capital a bhoogya. xenon fluorides se kithi compounds ahe tiyadi bhoogya apan okay so see here XCF2, XCF4, XCF6, TK. Now see how it is prepared. We will discuss preparation also of this our xenon. 
So as like this, when Xc plus F2 reacts with nickel vessel, nickel vessel, okay, at 673 Kelvin and one bar pressure, you will get what? Xc F2. Okay. So we can draw here structure also of our Xc F2. See here Xe. F here also F take it like this okay sp3d and shape is what beta linear okay now beta you can mention whatever in plus 6 oxidation number what beta yes you can mention there XCO3 also. XCO3 is a compound important. I mention it. Plus, I will draw a table. I mention it. Now, we will see some reactions of XCF2. So, concentrate on this reaction part also. See here. Okay, XCF2 plus, okay, XCF2 when reacts with water, 2H2O, you will get what, yes, XC plus HF plus what beta, O2, you have to keep in mind this all, everything, okay, when your XCF2, Reacts with one base that is NaOH as you know this. Then it will be what? Xa 4 NaF O2 plus 2 H2O. You can balance. Okay. I hope you understood this all. Okay. Now see here. We will discuss about XCF4. Okay. We will discuss about XCF4. XCF2 we saw. Now we will discuss about XCF4. Xenon tetrafluoride. With their structure and all, we will discuss about what? XCF4. So in preparation reaction, you can mention in preparation reaction, Bida. See here. Xc plus 2F2 heated in nickel vessel at 873 Kelvin and 6 to 7 bar pressure. You will get what? Yes, you will get XCF4. Suppose we have a structure. Ki. So see, structure as like this. Xc like this. Okay. Square planar. What beta? Square planar. As like this, fluorine are there. Okay. It's P3D2 and what beta? Square planar. Square planar. Like this. Okay. Now what will happen when it reacts with whatever the XCO4 reacts with water? So see here when XCO4 reacts with water. Okay, then you will get what? XA plus HF, HF plus XCO3 solid plus what? 3O2. So you can balance, you have to balance at any cost reaction all decay. I hope you understood uh, this. Okay. And whether these are what? Uh, explosive. Whatever here this reaction is going on. These are explosive. Okay. Now another reaction also. Uh, what will happen when whatever this XCO4 is reacts with at low temperature. Near, near about minus 80 degree Celsius. Near about minus 80 degree Celsius, it will form XeOF2 plus 2HF. 
जेनॉन ऑक्सी फ्लोराइड जेनॉन ऑक्सी वॉट बिडा फ्लोराइड ठीक है सो दीज आर ऑल अबाउट वर्ड अवर एक्सी फोर Now we will discuss about XCF6. Okay, how it will preparation of this XCF6? XCF6. Okay. Now XCF6 simple XC plus three F2 in the nickel vessel at 573 Kelvin and how much? 60 to 70. बार प्रेशर ठीक है यू विल गेट वॉट एक्स एफ सिक्स यू विल ड्रॉ यूर स्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो सी एक्स ई लाइक दिस ठीक है एक्स ई एफ सिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स विथ वन लोन पेयर Having hybridization is what is P3, D3, and geometry distorted octahedral. Distorted octahedral. Distorted octahedral. Thoda sa kalle la. Tige. We will do the reaction with the water. Tige. See here. When you are this Xc of six. XCF6 react with water. What you will get? Yes, you will get what? XCO3 plus 6HF. Okay. When your XCF6 reacts with water, okay, then you will get different product having what? XCO4. So better way we are to write this both. Whenever reaction will uh, whenever question will come write the reaction write the hydrolysis reaction of uh, xcf6 so we at that time you have to write both this when xcf6 plus h2 okay i hope you understood this thing now see here a uh, few we will discuss about reactions of xcf2 also and xcf4 ठीक है सो पे टेंशन ऑन दैट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट रिएक्शंस ओके और वी कैन से विथ अ पेंटा हालाइट्स ओके फॉस्फरस पेंटा हालाइट डेंस टी बी एम पेंटा हालाइट्स ठीक है सो सी यर फ्यू रिएक्शंस ऑफ एक्स सी एफ टू एंड एक्स सी एफ फोर से Or if you have any space in that, so you can mention in that X C F two and X C F four part also. Okay, so see here. X C F two plus P F five. What will happen, beta? Yes. X C F plus and P F six minus you will get here. And when X C F four plus is P F five. Then you will get what? Yes, XC of three plus and what? Bida is B of six three minus like this. Few important reactions of about your xenon difluoride and xenon tetra fluoride. Okay. Now we will think about. जेनोन ऑक्साइड्स ठीक है सो ऑलरेडी यू नो जेनोन ऑक्साइड्स ओके एक्स सी ओ एफ फोर एक्स सी ओ टू एफ टू एक्स सी ओ ठीक है एक्स सी ओ थ्री सी एम यस सी जेनोन वॉट बेटा ऑक्साइड्स नाउ सी इन जेनोन ऑक्साइड्स So, which uh, we will discuss here? Which compounds we are going to discuss? XCO3, then XCO, F4, XCO2, F2, 
these compounds we are going to discuss here about their preparation and all ठीक है so pay attention XCO4 ठीक है so how uh, first we will discuss about XCO3 of xeno XCO3 so see here how your XCO3 it will prepare simply XCO4 it hydrolyzes it hydrolyzes then you will get what yes we already done this reaction XCO3 plus 4 XC plus 6 HA plus 3 O2 okay with the hydrolysis of XC of 6 also 3 H2O you will get what yes XCO3 plus 6 HF okay now we will discuss how we can prepare XCO4 okay how we can prepare about XCO4 so see here see like that they will uh, prepare XCO F4 and XCO2 F2 so first you concentrate on this reaction of XCO3 completed okay so now see here one more by the one more also method XCO3 or prepare XCO2 F2 plus H2O you will get what XCO3 plus 2 HA so basically uh, what will happen great care should be taken during this preparation because it is highly explosive okay so this thing is very much important okay so see here we will discuss the structure also of XCO3 as like this XC XCO3 correct sorry XCO3 as like this with a lone pair so there because of lone pair there is a what geometry pyramidal okay and hybridization is what three sigma bond plus one lone pair that is sp3 i hope you understood this thing here understood so we will discuss about xenon oxyfluorides okay so suppose if you are considering of xenon oxyfluoride so xenon oxyfluoride means this compound will come okay whenever xenon oxyfluoride preparations are there so pay attention beta up about xenon yes here xenon oxyfluorides okay now xenon oxyfluoride xcof2 okay XCOF4 and what beta XCO2F2. Suppose we will discuss first xenon oxyfluoride, that is XCOF2. First we will see what beta xenon oxyfluoride is what XCOF2. So we will do the preparation. So it is prepared by what? Slow and partial hydrolysis of slow and partial hydrolysis of XCF4 at low temperature. So see here XCF4 plus H2 low temperature how much? Minus 80 degrees Celsius. Then you will get what? XCOF2 plus 2HF. So see here our reaction is also balanced here. Okay. Now we will discuss about second. So can we draw the structure? Yes, we can draw the structure also. What we done? Ready? XCO2 F2. So see here how it likes uh, XE take a F2 XC. OF2 sorry XC 
OF2. So that we have to draw here XCOF2. Okay. So as you know, your xenon is balanced by eight. So eight uh, bonds must be there. And if bonds are not present, then that valency fulfilled by lone pair of electrons. Okay. So you can count beta here. See, this xenon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Understood? So here what? Yes, T shaped. T shaped and geometry is what? Trigonal bipyramidal. Okay? T B P. Trigonal bipyramidal. Okay? I hope you understood uh, this all regarding XO F2. Now we will discuss about XO F4. So see here XO F4. Okay. Xenon oxy tetrafluoride. Xenon oxy tetrafluoride. So what will happen regarding this? So beta it is prepared by how it is prepared? It is prepared by partial hydrolysis of XCF6. XCF6 plus H2O. So you will get what? XCO F4 plus what? 2 HF like that your product. And with the help of silica also. When your XCF6 reacts with silica, that is SiO2, at a bit of 50 degrees Celsius. Then you will get XCO F4 plus what? SiF4. That is stable binary compound you will get. Okay. To balance the reaction, you can easily balance. Okay. Okay. Now we will see uh, reactions also. When this your XCO F4 is hydrolyzed. Reactions. XCO F4 when you hydrolyze. So what you will get? Yes, you will get what? XCO2 F2 plus 2 HF. Okay. So like this, you will get here different different products. Okay. Now it is it's time to discuss our XCO F4. XCO F4. What? Yes. Very good. XOF4 structure. So pay attention. See here. Your XC has like this. Okay. O F4 has like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Understood. Okay. Square pyramidal. What we called square pyramidal okay I hope you understood uh, this thing now see uh, we will discuss next one that is xenon dioxidifluoride that is XCO2F2 so pay attention on this okay XCO2F2 XCO2 F2. So it is prepared by mixing XCO3 and XCO F4 at low temperature. And uh, that low temperature near about minus 78 degrees Celsius. Okay. So see here XCO2 F2. Say XCO3 plus what beta XCO F4 at what minus 78 degrees Celsius then you will get what then you will get 2 XCO2 F2 you can balance okay yes everything is balanced here 
Now, see, one more, by one more method also we can prepare. Uh, when our XeOA4 is hydrolyzed, general oxy tetrafluoride is hydrolyzed, you will get what? Yes, you will get XeO2F2 plus HF. How much HF? Yes, 2HF. You can balance this reaction. And when it will react, or we can say, a reaction with water of our the xenon oxyfluoride, xenon dioxy difluoride. Okay. See here, XeO2 F2 plus H2O. Then you will get what? Yes, XeO3 plus 2HF. So we will draw here. XeO2 F2 structure. So concentrate on this. See, we will draw here XeO2 F2 as like this. XeO2 F2. This also what you are distorted octahedral geometry. Distorted trigonal bipyramidal. Sorry, what be done? Distorted. So here I am writing here distorted trigonal bipyramidal geometry TBP. Okay, XCO2 EF2. I hope uh, you understood uh, this all of our today's content. Okay. If any doubt will come, you can share immediately. These are all about our what? Xenon, compounds of xenon, in that fluorine also we discuss. Okay? Then uh, flow oxygen containing compound also we discuss. Okay? Now, one of the important part that is that is what yes beta first you uh, mention in your notebook i hope you are everything you are what completing in your notes okay and you are sending you are sending your pdf also yes or no yes you have to send only uh, one to two student they are sending other what they are doing okay a big question mark in front of them okay so Vida, you have to take care of your contain it is very much important now we will discuss about uses okay so beta as you know bina use ke hum koi kaam karte nahi so use is what important <laughs> Okay, sorry. Uses of say uses of what beta noble gases. Uses of noble gases. Okay. So write down the heading. Uses of noble gases. Uses are very much important here. So, we have first use, suppose if you are considering of helium. Okay. So, uh, you have to write this, whatever I am saying, helium. It is non inflammable and light gas. And therefore, it is used for filling balloons. Okay, as you know, helium is used for what we are filling balloons and metallurgical, meteorological operation. So, see here the spelling of this meteorological, yes, observations. Okay, now say second, suppose. अब हम बात करें हेलियम के यूज़ के, so हेलियम ऑक्सीजन मिक्सचर, हेलियम ऑक्सीजन मिक्सचर, is also used for, या is also used to assist 
breathing is used to assist breathing breathing in asthma in asthma because helium is less soluble because helium is less soluble in blood in blood than than nitrogen theek hai and as you know helium oxygen mixture okay suppose hum third ki baat kare helium oxygen mixture is used by deep sea divers is used by deep sea divers as you know what we do scuba divers okay in the preference to n2o2 mixture instead of n2o2 mixture what they are using hc helium oxygen mixture because it is very low solubility in blood because very low solubility in what beta blood theek okay. hai now what is this helium fourth use ki jab hum baat kare it is it it produce what sustain powerful super conducting magnets super conducting magnets okay powerful super conducting magnets which form an essential part of modern and it is a part of what essential part of modern nmr spectrometer what beta nmr spectrometer theek hai jo physics ke log use karte hai nmr spectrophotometer nmr spectrometer theek hai and and in mri mri is what magnetic resonance imaging okay for clinical diagnosis for what beta clinical diagnosis now so here next suppose hum baat kare second that is argon ki so see here what your your argon it is used for filling discharge tubes for optical decoration and advertisement okay optical decoration and advertisement okay when neon is mixed with other gases and when neon is mixed with other gases so it glows differently it glows with different colors known as a what neon sign tubes sorry not for here argon here what beta neon so these are what beta neon that is neon signs tubes for advertisement okay see the neon bulbs are used in botanical gardens also botanical garden and in greenhouse okay greenhouse okay whatever uh, next use suppose if you are considering about our neon so it is used in beacon light what beta beacon light and this light as a safety signal for air navigators safety signals for air navigators okay because its light has fog penetration power because that light has what fog penetration penetration power understood so that much neon is important theek okay. hai suppose abhi hum next baat kare helium neon ke baad what beta argon so concentrate on our argon also it is also important so this much important important uses are there so therefore we are using this theek okay. hai see argon it is used to provide what in our atmosphere in high temperature metallurgical processes 
inert atmosphere in what high temperature metallurgical processes that is in arc in verbeda arc welding arc welding of metals or alloys arc welding of metals or alloys in that they are providing what inert atmosphere okay it is used for it is used in laboratory for handling substances that are air sensitive for substances that are air sensitive okay handling those substances which are what air sensitive third what your pure organ is used in gas chromatography pure organ is used in where gas chromatography okay so these are what we are regarding your organ okay now we will discuss about whatever fourth krypton and xenon okay so this is your krypton and xenon uh, fourth uh, we will discuss about what beta yes krypton and what xenon so this together these gases are used for filling in cadensant incandescent metal filaments of electric bulbs what beta in in condition filling in condition metal filaments of what electrical bulbs okay and uh, see whatever this mixture krypton and xenon is used for what high speed photography high speed photography theek okay. hai understood and what your radon and what about radon radon is used in the treatment of cancer it is used in the treatment of what beta yes cancer to detect the cancer and also gaining importance in radioactive researches and also gaining importance in what radioactive radioactive researches okay so like this important is all over p block elements okay so here so uh, we completed our uh, this p block elements theek okay? hai uh, you have to solve uh, questions from your modules you have to solve inside in text question exercise questions theek okay? hai and you share your doubts and before that everyone you submit what you have to share you have to send pdf of all the notes of p block element group 15 16 17 and 18 okay understood so you have to solve this all exercise questions whatever module questions also in that any doubt will come so in, without hesitation you can ask so thank you very much take care and stay safe